About a year ago, I made this list, but none of the Gen 9 Pokemon were out yet, except the Weed Cat. I like that one. So we're going to rank every Pokemon from Scarlet Violet, and they're going to land on one of five tiers. Geek, Friend, Acquaintance, Rival, and Enemy. I think we're starting from the top of tops. We got Weed Cat, little Sprigatito. I don't want to put the first Pokemon in peak, but goddamn, do I love that little cat. Unfortunately, the cat does stand up, but I think they made it work. It's cool, but it's still like that awkward puberty mid-evolution kind of vibe. We can agree it's a friend, but Miascarada, I think it's a pretty hit or miss design. A lot of people don't like it, but it gives me that androgynous Knights Balan kind of energy, and I like that. I'm into that. It's peak design for me. I know this is controversial. You guys don't like that the cat stood up. Oh, that's a hard choice. Oh, but Fue Coco. Oh my god, wait. I think this is just a good dex because this dude's Pete. He's just such a no-thought, dumbass little ghost pepper, and I love him. But then he evolves and loses every thought he never had. I have to dislike some. I'm going to say he's a rival. This was my enemy on first glance. As time goes on, he keeps rising through the roof. Maybe he can rise in like a year. I think this line gets a bit more hate than it deserves. I think if this gets hate, you're homophobic because this is the gayest little bird I have ever seen. He's my least favorite of the starters, but he goes right there. Quacks well. This is a fine design, but I'm going to call him a rival because I would just bully someone on the base of their name being Quaxwell. And uh, Quaquavel, I feel pretty nothing towards him. Lechonk. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I'm not a pig guy. But if you want to see what a real S tier looks like, how about Call of Dragons? From the creators of Rise of Kingdoms comes an all new MMO fantasy conquest game, Call of Dragons. Enter into the magical land of Tamaris and fight amongst elves, orcs, humans, goblins, giants, and many, many other magical creatures. Train your heroes, fight dragons, and pair complementary moves together to be an unstoppable force in battle. You can also train new creatures called behemoths that aid you in battle with extreme firepower, healing, and poisonous mist. Tamaris is full of incredible 3D terrain that isn't just there for show, as you can outsmart your opponents and win without taking any damage yourself. Explore the mysterious mist, seek treasure in the gem mines, or accept quests from merchants and spooky caves. Featuring many gameplay modes such as PvP, PvE, GVG, and GVE, there's tons of ways to enjoy this exciting strategy game. Download Call of Dragons today by using the link in my description and use special code PLAYCOD now for special gifts and get in on all the action Call of Dragons has to offer. But he's like, he's like here. That's all I can really do. But if it makes you feel better, Oink Cologne is even lower. <laughs> that is my enemy right there. Teron Pula. I'm not really a bug guy, but I like him. He's a friend for sure. Spide Ops though, this dude is stupid. I just want to like grab his arms and just break them. I think he's my enemy. You know who isn't my enemy though? Nimble. He is so small and so little and has weird looking knees. Yeah, he's a friend. All right, and then low kicks. This thing is just cool. It kind of feels like a uh, scissor at home though. I feel like he's supposed to be cool, but he just doesn't land. It feels like the older brother who's trying really hard to be cool in front of his little brother's friends. This dude just rolls shit. That is his whole Pokemon. So I would say he's my rival, but what I think is awesome is that he reaches Nirvana. He rolls so much shit and reaches self-actualization, and that is fucking hysterical. Let's talk about the Dunsparce. You know the saying, why mess with perfection? It feels like they knew Dunsparce was this funny meme Pokemon, and they just doubled down on it. I wasn't a huge Dunsparce guy to begin with, but I respect the commitment, you know? Okay, Grievard. I don't know what it is about them, but I'm not a huge fan. He does do a silly little dance in the story mode, so he's a friend off that. Wait, I just said I don't like him, but then Houndstone's really funny. He He's just the anchor of a team who uses last respects and sweeps. No, that's funny. That's frontier. I'm already tweaking the list. These are acquaintances. I've changed my mind. Little, this motherfucker, small, tiny, minuscule pit squeak is my enemy. I don't know why, but I feel like it has to be six inches tall. It's one of, you know, but then it evolves into the Lady Gaga bird. I uh, didn't really see that one coming. Listen to her music from time to time, but that's about it. And then Faragariff, Faragiraff, Faragiraff, the palindrome. But again, when they first announced this mod, I hated it, but I, I like it. All right. I like Wiglet. I think he's funny, but I don't like Wugtrio. Someone in my game called it Trildo, and it just looks like three different dog cocks. Yeah, just the triple red rocket. No, no, that's an enemy. But Dondozo, big man, Hoppa right there. He eats a smaller guy and gets stronger to the top.
That guy is awesome. And Veluza, you know what? I, I guess I like them more than uh, Low Kicks. I like Quabble. Quabble can move up. This is just a dolphin on premise. That's a friend. And then it gets a little heart on his chest. And I like that a little more when he evolves to Palafin. But then sometimes Palafin goes All Might mode. And that's badass. Yeah, he's Neospatian Dolphin. This dude is awesome. I think like as soon as you saw that Smoliv evolved into a Pokemon named Doliv, you knew where it was going. Small of his peak, though. Dolive, like, I know Pokemon always takes, like, the tiny babies and tries to make them sexy. And I'm not a fan of that trend. And when I saw Dolive, I thought they were going that direction. So I hold anger. But then they didn't. I would say I like the design. You know, I think I can leave it at that. Arboliva, I, I actually don't really like. I think I would have liked it more if they did. Dude, give it the Gardevoir treatment, actually. It's just kind of boring, but better than dog shit. These are two absolute weird creatures. Capsicid reminds me of Bart Simpson. He's just a little mischievous, and I like him a lot. Pokemon's first fire grass guy. Two heads, peppers. He's a friend. I like him. I do like this design, so I'm going to put him, like, up here. Deserved a third Evo. I do agree. There's a lot of Pokemon in Gen 9, but for some reason, when I see Tadbulb, I just get angry. It gives me mad push down fly to stairs energy. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's, like, down. You know what? I think Lechonk's below these guys. But I like Belly Bolt. I know these aren't his eyes, but I still like pretending like they are. Uh, I like him all the same. He's a friend. <laughs> and then we got Varum and Revavroom. They named a seal seal and got away with it. So this is at least more creative than that. But I think it's just a little... Eh. I think I would like it more if it was just a weird one-off, if that makes sense. Varum? is an enemy for no reason in particular. But I like Rev of Room because his inclusion implies a lot of interesting things about the Pokemon world because they changed his type by putting him on monster trucks by rich prep school students. And that's just a thing you can do, apparently. Like, can I just trick out Pikachu and now it's a fire type? Like, is that how it works? I don't know. I don't know how people feel about this mon. I absolutely don't. But this dude's peak. <laughs> that dude's awesome. He's got tiny little six hands that pop out. It's just he has such a derpy colon D face. Can I see some colon Ds in chat? That's what I'm talking about. And now we get the sex mice. Like if I just saw them, I would say that's just two mice. But I would be wrong because that is Tandem Mouse. We have Duck Trio. We have Magnezone or Magnetite, Mag Mag Magneton, Magnets. It's just the same thing. But what's really funny is that they just randomly have sex in the Pokeball. I just read this in chat. Fun fact. If you give them an Everstone, they still evolve because fuck you. They're busy. I think the design itself is eh. But I'm going to put them all in peak by how many kids they have. There's Citadel. Not a fan. I don't like giant gaping holes, and that dude has no in. I think Satoddle is my enemy, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And then Satitan is like a little cooler. Frigabax? That's an awful name. And he's an awful looking guy. He is so ugly that he's adorable. Oh, it's Frigabax. I guess that makes a little more sense. Is he my least favorite pseudo legendary based on design? Yeah. But actually, no, because he looks so dumb and derby and idiot. He stays right there. Low friend, but still valid. I actually like the mid-evolution a lot. I think this one's better. He just looks like a scrappy little guy, and it gives you so much promise for what's to come. And then he goes bald. I get it that it's supposed to be Godzilla, but he just looks so bald. Like, if they just put, like, a little thing above his head, I think he looks so much better. I want to like the dragon type. I love edgy shit so bad, but I don't like him. I think he might be my least favorite pseudo legendary. Still at a respectable placing. I would love to rank the dragon super high. Big man, Tatsugiri. Oh wait, this guy's awesome. It's just the one eye that they have right here. That's just like, this is peak. This is a peak mon. This is to the top right here. Yeah, sometimes he just gets eaten by Dondozo and makes Dondozo powerful and then Tatsugiri just hides in there? Cyclozar, though. I like him a lot. Awesome little bike dragon. I don't know how... Actually, I think he's pretty high. Pommy. I think I kept wanting something to happen to it, and it just kind of stayed the same. It just stands up. <laughs> That's all he does. And then he tussles his hair a little bit. And it's like, look at this new Pokemon. Yeah, they're just okay. I think they're okay. It's an okay line. But then Watrol is awesome. This dude, zero thoughts. Look into those eyes. They have seen murder, and they don't care. It's just a stupid bird. I get it but it's just the eyes that get me. And then when it evolves, it kind of loses all of that magic, you know? Yeah, with Kilowattril, I think the name is lazy, and I think the Pokemon is kind of lazy too. It just feels like too normal of a 
bird. And I think that makes it a rival because I really just don't care for it. Bombardier. Yeah, this is just some jackass bird who has like a stork foreskin flap. Like instead of delivering babies, it drops rocks on innocent people. Uh, I wouldn't say he's a friend because like he's no friend of mine, but I respect him, you know? Squawkabilly? I didn't see this one in my playthrough. Like I know he exists. He's just in the wild. He's like a story mon, but I just don't care for him. Yo, Flamigo though. Let's talk about it. Not only is he Larry's ace, but this little dude is just a flamingo whose body looks like a boxing glove. I think regardless if you think this is lazy or not, can we talk about how just outright bold it is? Hey, look, if I was Pokemon, if I was Game Freak, I would not have the balls to put out a Pokemon that's just a flamingo. I respect the flamingo pick. Cloth. This is a weird dude, because he doesn't evolve, he just kind of exists. He has giant terrifying eyes and like blushing little road, red rosy cheeks. Plop is definitely a goofy guy. He's a little silly. I want to say he's a friend, but I just don't think I got it. He's, he just don't got it like that. So Knackly, just a Mario mushroom made out of rock. Again, it's just the Minecraft line. I think it's bold. It's so easy to call this one dumb and stupid, but he's a little salt rock. I respect that they put sodium chloride in his name. It didn't feel very natural to fit into something like Garganackle, but they made it work. Knackle stack feels a little too on the nose, but it's just Minecraft Frog, so I get to pass. I definitely like this line more than I'm giving him credit for. Glamet? I don't, I don't know. What? What, you want me to say it's not a ball sack? No, I'm not going to say that, because it just is. It's pretty bad. I, I don't like it at all. You know, like when you pop edamame, like it's just... I, that's what I want to do to what I can only assume are some nuts. And then Glamora, this might sound stupid, but I just don't get it. Like, I, I get it. I know what it's supposed to be, but I just don't get it. I, I do get it, but I don't get it. I have to put it in, like, the truest neutral here because I, I it's fine. But now we got Shrudel. I don't like this little hair thing on him. It's like Boss Baby Egad kind of vibes. Shrudel is a little gross, but I like him. I like how gross he is. I'd place him here, but I think I'm bringing Hukwavl back up here. I like Hukwavl, actually. I just thought about like him dancing, but with the Mirror B theme behind. And now he's bumping up a lot after I just had that thought. It's like graffiti, graffiti. Is that what it is? Just Smeargle, but cooler? I gotta admit, this Pokemon's pretty badass. And then there's Fido. Yeah, they're cute, but they're supposed to be cute. It's like the dog name, Fido. I think I like Doxman a lot more. I think we can all agree there. This thing's a friend. I, I think it's the bottom of friends. I do not care at all. How much you cried over Arvin being a little sad boy with mommy and or daddy issues because his dead dog was dying again. This Pokemon is not special because it almost died. It ate weed and then it got more powerful. Well, guess what? So did these two. Mabostiff? I like him. He grew on me. He's the godfather of dogs. That's cool. He's a friend, but this dude is a menace to society. Put him out of misery, like out of my misery, you know? He goes right here. He is an enemy to me. And Bramblin, who evolves into Bramble Ghost, who is just the exact same Pokemon with a few more spikes and a smile. Oh, whoa, people like him. What is funny, though, is that he evolves by tumbling. Letting him roam around for a thousand steps, he evolves. And that's pretty funny. I feel like I can just slide him right here after the Dunsparce. And then my boy, Gimme Ghoul. I don't care what anyone else says. I love the tiny little Reddit gold man. He gets a treasure chest and just has Reddit gold for the rest of his life. That is awesome. Then he evolved into Goldingo. After you collect 900, he just gets rich and turns gold. And then he gets a gold surfboard, which is actually pretty badass. I think I want to not like him so bad, but he's just so dumb. It's, it, it's grown on me. I like him though. He's like at the top of friends. And now we're moving on to the Paradox Pokemon, which I think we can all agree are like the real standouts of this gym. Full disclosure though, I want to say how unfortunate it is that all the past Pokemon have cool and badass names. Great Tusk. Brute Bonnet, Sandy Shots. And then you look down to Iron Treads, Iron Moth, Iron Hands, Iron Jugulus, Iron... Uh, it's so boring. That's not going to affect any other placements, but just why? Great Tusk and Iron Treads? What an unfortunate pairing. Great Tusk is so much better. Like the Ancient Mammoth kind of style with the giant tusks. 
so cool. All the iron Pokemon have the same eyes and it's boring to me. It's so boring. I would even say I don't like it. Brute Bonnet, can someone explain this one to me real quick? Amoongus, yes. Yes, I am aware that it is based off Amoongus. Wait, is there a mushroom that looks like this? Is what I'm asking, it's hanging moss. Thank you. I feel pretty eh for me. So now let's talk about Sandy Shocks. What? It's like they're inside there are two wolves. One walks funny and one has pubic hair. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. But it's just... Ah. But then there's Screamtail, which when this one first got leaked, I saw it and I thought it looked hideous, awful, disgusting, gross. I wanted to pop it, you know, like with a needle and watch the organs fall out. But as time went on and I saw it in game, it feels like a child who had to come up with the name and just saw two objects in the room. and was like, uh, yeah, this Pokemon is called water controller um i like it i would say it's a friend flutter main so i don't know if any of you dabble in competitive pokemon but if you do you should know what flutter main is this pokemon is insane i like mistrevis though so i still rank it like in friends slitherwing i think if you just see this sprite you say it's just larvesta but then when you see him in game slitherwing stands up oh I, it's high such a tiny little thing with so much oop. yeah i want to hug it that's not even a punt thing i just want to hold it in my arms and now we're seeing the real bangers because roaring moon okay <laughs> okay right right guys we can just no discussion needed salamence is badass and what if we made him cooler roaring moon is peak and then we get into all the Pokemon that are kind of the same. I think this is a who cares Pokemon, uh, Iron Moth. I think the Iron Pokemon are a little uninteresting. I like it more than Iron Treads. I like it more than Low Kicks, Belusa, Glamora. Okay, we're going, we're going. Gate kept by Dunsparce, gotta say. Uh, I like that he powers down. I like that he's electric. Not really much to say beyond that, but he is the funny Raid Man. So that's why I kind of got to give it to him. Okay, and now we got Iron Juglis, which I'll be honest, I have no idea what the hell a Juglis is, but this is one of them. I feel like if you're going to make a new version of this Pokemon in particular, it should be badass. And like, why is it not cooler? I don't know. It's quite literally just Metal Hydragon. Hydragon? I, you know what I'm talking about. This should be a very high entry, but I will say, despite me ranting on these metal Pokemon not being very cool, fucking Tyranitar Godzilla Mecha Robot guy? It, it gets a pass. It gets a pass because it's Godzilla. If it's shiny is Chrome, which makes it Mecha Godzilla, which is awesome and badass. Iron Bundle though, as the kids call him Iron Sack, is a water ice penguin. I like the skis. You know, he has skis on his feet. I like him um, a moderate amount. <laughs> All right. Want to talk about gender? They took Gardevoir. They took Gallade, dropped the psychic type, fused it, and made Iron Valiant. Okay, okay, guys. I know I was just ranting about, like, all the iron Pokemon and whatnot, but to the top. To the top. This might be my favorite mod of the generation. Like, I'm so pandered to. It's just androgynous fighting robot, you know? Ah, uh, and then we got the Ruin Quartet. Ting Lu? He causes earthquakes and kills children, but, like, it's just kind of a stupid moose. I would put it pretty low. I think it's kind of ugly, if I can be completely honest. But then Chi and Pao? Oh, that's peak. This one's peak, actually. Chi Yu's awesome. Oh, this thing. Honestly, this one's peak too. And then there's just a weird gr trash gross snail thing. I don't hate it though. I think I like the eyes being in between sticks. Like that's kind of cool. I, I would say that it's an acquaintance. Serilege? Oh, hold up. Edgy, sword, blue fire. God damn, I love this mod. Oh yeah, now we can talk about the box legendaries, which I gotta say are pretty good. More spoilers, they're just paradox forms of Cyclozar, and I think that's so sick. Because for a while, I thought Cyclozar would just be like evolve into one of them, and then when I saw him in the wild, I was like, maybe not. I bought Violet because I like Maridon a lot, but I gotta say, Karidon has grown on me. I think this mod is incredible. And I like that he has wheels, but he still runs like he's Flintstone bait. And I know that Maridon's like paradox name is Iron Serpent. What is Karidon's? Does anyone know? This dude's paradox name is Winged King? Holy fuck! That's so raw! Look at this! It is so sick! So badass! This is a shiny winged king. Tink-a-tink. Just a little tiny thing with a tiny little ponytail. 
with a tiny little hammer. And then they evolve to Tinka Tough and become a bit more rebellious. They hold a bit bigger hammers and then they evolve into Tinka Ton and they just become a menace to the ecosystem. Like this thing is high up on a food chain. It kills Corviknights for sport. Dude, I really like Tinka Ton. That Pokemon is great. It's the trope of tiny little woman, I'm big so giant so hammer so. that has never gone wrong in the history of time. And I, I live to continue that trope. Guard Cadet? I think he's a friend by proxy. Armor Rouge. I think this could be cool, but it's just sporting this Ronald McDonald ass color palette and I can't get behind it. This is just a flame man. This could pass as flame man. Actually, I think Quabble could pass as flame man if we're being honest, but hear me out. Toad's cool? This dude's awesome. He just walked on his tiny little feet and then with Toad's cruel, he just springs and like bounces and shit. But I think Toad Squirrel is like barely up there, barely in peak, you know? I don't know if I gotta be like really bold with saying King Gambit or King Gambit. I think the name is kind of dumb and he loses some points with that. But if Meowskarada can still sit in peak, so can King Gambit. I like the other Wooper more personally. Still a hype friend, but I like the other Wooper more. But Claude Sire, I'm a huge fan of. I don't know, he's just so big and stupid. <laughs> I think it's really weird that we don't have a lot of Haldean forms in this game. We have Tauros who didn't really make it on this list. Tauros should be somewhere around like low friend, high acquaintance, but they made him the bastard of this game. He's like what Paris was in Legends Arceus. So I think he's a rival. Our last one is Annihilate. Do we all agree that the fact that Primate can get so angry and die that he evolves into Annihilate is badass. And I think that is every Pokemon in Scarlet Violet rank, except Tauros. <laughs> but two Pokemon have been released since I recorded this, huh? Walking Wake is everything I'd hope it to be. This Pokemon is S tier, genuine peak. And then there's Iron Leaves, who is okay. Also, this thing is technically announced. I guess this and all of these bastards, but I don't really know anything about them, so they don't get rankings. So yeah, since my opinions have changed over the past few months, here's a new updated tier list, and this is every Pokemon I like is Scarlet Violet. Okay, thanks, bye.